Hello and welcome, in this video, we're going to show you how to remove an old display and install a new one on your e-bike. The display is a key component that provides essential information, like speed, battery level, and pedal assist levels, so it's important to ensure it's working properly. Before we begin, let's take a look at the tools you'll need for this job. A set of Allen keys. A pair of gloves for safety. In this video, we are going to use EMX Plus Bike, which has M7H display with 5-pin connector. Before we begin, we need to prepare the e-bike for display removal. Start by turning off your e-bike, and then unlock the battery and disconnect the battery from bike. This step is crucial for safety to prevent any accidental short circuits. Unplug the display connector from the main wiring harness. In this case, it's a 5-pin connector that links the display to the main wiring harness. Next, locate the screw on the control panel and use the appropriate Allen key to loosen the screw securing control pad. Carefully remove the control panel from handlebar. Then remove the display which is mounted at middle of handlebar and locate the screw holding display. Use the appropriate Allen key to loosen the screw securing the display and control pad. Once the screws are removed, carefully detach the display. With the old display is now completely removed. Now, it's time to install the new display. Make sure the new display is compatible with your e-bike model and has the correct type of 5-pin connector. Start by positioning the new display in the center of the handlebar, and tighten both the screws using the Allen key. and also position the control pad on the right side. Tighten the control pad using the appropriate Allen key, but avoid over-tightening to prevent damage. Align them properly to ensure easy access and visibility while riding. Next, reconnect the new display's 5-pin connector to the main wiring harness. To connect the connector align the arrows on both connectors and push towards each other unless it clicks securely. Such that you should hear a click when it's properly seated. Once connected, neatly organize the cables back using the spiral wrap to keep everything tidy and secure. Now that the new display is installed, let's test it to ensure it's working correctly. Reconnect the battery and power on the e-bike. The new display should power up and initialize properly. And go through each function to make sure everything is in order. If everything checks out, your new display is working perfectly. If you notice any issues, double check the connections and settings. And there you have it. You've successfully removed the old display, installed a new one, and tested all the functions to ensure everything works as it should. We hope this guide was helpful. Thank you and happy riding.